the MCG scoreboard tells the story after a goal review one. Video killed the Tiger goal celebrations score review decisions denied the Tigers two goals in the second quarter. Players were set up in their positions for center bounces both times when Dustin Martin and Josh Caddy had goals overturned from high in the grandstand. Both times it seemed a Docker player must have only laid a fingernail on the close-range snapshots. And the pro Tiger crowd was quick to voice its disapproval of the delays and scoreboard corrections on the halftime siren. 2. Even Dusty sometimes messes up Martin just couldn't buy a goal in a frustrating first half of Richmond dominance. He brought fans at the punt road end to their feet with a typical intercept from a pack, but the audacious right foot snapshot hit the post. And the woodwork denied him again with a similar shot on the run from a tight angle later in the opening term. He missed another snapshot in the second quarter and then seemed to have finally contributed to the score sheet until the kick kick from the top of the goal square was overturned just before halftime. Tigers storm home, full match coverage and stats 3. Just try to follow my lead talk about lead by example. Fremantle skipper Nat Fife did everything in his power to inspire teammates to greater effort. He tallied 33 disposals and even added 7 hitouts. He was more than a match for midfield post Dion Presti and Martin and then Jack Graham and Nathan Broad were run off their legs tracking the Dockers ace in general play. The 190 centimeters leader even took his turns in the ruck contests when Aaron Sandilands went to the bench for well-earned breather. Show real, freakish fights lone hand four. The boss is not impressed Fremantle coach Ross Leone didn't waste a moment at quarter time with line coach Huddles. He summoned the players to him after the paltry one-goal opening term and kept their attention for the entire first change. Sandilands set up the 10-4 first quarter clearances discrepancy, but that advantage was more than cancelled out by the Dockers' paltry four tackles to Richmond's 23, lopsided pressure stats that certainly didn't please their frustrated coach. Watch, Lambert finishes it off 5. Tiger retribution was swift and mostly sustained no wonder Richmond was hell-bent on burying Fremantle this time. The Dockers had won their past three against the Tigers at the MCG and the visitors even cheekily reminded the Premier with their banner, mentioning David Mundy's winning shot after the siren at the same venue nearly 12 months ago. Richmond's third game in 13 days didn't phase these ferocious Tigers, despite a tardy goalless third quarter, on a mission to deliver the club's best start since the 7-0 in 1995.